Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the AC Milan career mode. And this, my friends, is episode Dosh. That is 10 in Bangladesh. And he said, please take my comment. I'm writing these since the Liverpool career mode. Hey, my man, thank you for being so, what is it? Um, what is it, consistent? Yeah. Thank you for being so consistent and trying to put this comment into the video many, many times. I'm sure there are a lot of people that have been writing their languages in the comments down below. Um, thank you guys so much. Let me know in the comments down below what episode 11 is in your language. As we get into this episode, boys, take a look at this beautiful league table. AC Milan in the first position, 35 points, but AS Roma right behind us and Juventus still struggling outside the top four. Kievo Verona ahead of Juventus. Yay! But boys, um, last episode we had some major, major is issues. Since this new patch, career mode has been completely broken and so many people have now made videos about it. People have been tweeting about it yesterday, especially yesterday was a big day for hashtag change career mode. It was trending in the UK. Thank you guys so much for supporting the cause. It is so important that we let them know that this community is not going to remain silent if we continue to be ignored. So to all of you guys out there, thank you so much. And of course, let's not forget another thing right here. If you guys do enjoy the AC Milan career mode, please hit that like button. Boys, I'm seeing something special. Enis Bardi now is 85 rated. He has grown and hopefully we can finally use our first team. That would be absolutely amazing, right? If you could use your first team in a game, ooh, imagine being able to do that. Now, we're going to sim ahead two days and then we're going to get into the game against Bologna. Depending on if we are playing at home and their league position, we're going to make the make a decision if we do want to play against them, yes or nah. That is the decision that has to be made. Now, Bologna is an away match. They are currently in the 11th position since i haven't been able to play with the first team for such a long time i would really appreciate being able to jump into a game oh it's bologna and juventus today boys watch them play all the best players against me but not play them in simulations that's gonna be fun but we're gonna play against bologna as a warm-up game for the game against Juventus. We can use our first team as well, which is absolutely beautiful. But before we actually do that, do that, let's go through a couple of comments from the last episode that had a lot of likes on them. Tashrik Osman says, um, Liverpool sold Trent and Robbo. I did not see them. Like so Johnny can see. Yes, my man. And apparently they sold Alisson as well. Some people were pointing that out as well in the comments down below. Um, thank you. Thank you for letting me know because I didn't notice when I was looking through the team because obviously it wasn't like a team sheet. It was just a list of players. So thank you very much for letting me know. I did not realize that. So our former team has sold a couple of big players in their squad. Now, um, Jish the Wish right here is saying, at this point, I'm starting to think that EA broke career mode so they would get people to play ultimate team. Honestly, I wouldn't put it past them. Me neither, my man. Ultimate team, sadly, is more fun than career mode. Let's just be honest with ourselves. Sadly, career mode has been the same for years upon years. If this was the first year where career mode was like this, so basically FIFA 13, hey, it's still better than ultimate team. But if it is the fifth year back to back where nothing has changed, alrighty then. Time for ultimate team. But let's move over to the next one. That says Tavanesh, uh, Tavanesh Pit Pitumbur. That is his name. Sorry if I bottled your name. He says, hashtag fan objective. Johnny Donnarumma also has clean sheets in simulated matches. Hope it has been counted. And with that comment, we go straight into the fan objectives. And yes, my man, they are being counted. As you can see on your screen, Buffon's son, he's now on eight clean sheets and there's still seven to go. Donnarumma finally picking it up, boys. Finally, he's getting those clean sheets. He has been making some incredible saves in this career mode. But near post is his weakness we cannot allow our opponents to take shots to the near post true icon and his party sadly didn't play a single game in the last episode um chasing gunnar though is still on track because belotti came in in one of the simulations and scored so in 17 games he now has scored 17 goals what a striker and then we have the running man, which in which we had a couple of discussions in the last episode as you guys might remember um Jaden sancho with one skill move, kinda got past three people as he cut inside. 
but I do not count that as the running man. The running man for me, in my opinion, begins somewhere down the wings where you skill around one player, then the next defender is coming, you skill around him, the next defender is coming, you skill around him, and then that is the running man. If you score at that point, that turns into the running man. And I think I might have to take it down a notch on that to not five goals but three goals because five might be a little bit too much let me know in the comments down below if we should downgrade that just a little so apparently we are one of the best defensive teams in the league that is very nice to see because normally we are not in there since we kept conceding goals from um, corners and stuff so far in fifa 19 career mode terms i believe i am doing my best with AC Milan in terms of defending. Hopefully we can keep that up and also keep up the goal scoring. Finally though, as you can see on your screen, the first team is playing Sterling, Belotti, Bardi, Castillejo, ready to go. Now talking about best defense, we're about to concede straight away. Donnarumma has to make a save. He's happy about his performance, but probably not happy with the performance of the defense right there. In the fourth minute corner kick, uh, if we do get this away, we will be looking quite good here. And that is a good counter-attack chance. Castilejo on the run. He's actually down the left-hand side, which is actually good because he's a left-footer. But then he decides to not continue his run. Enis Bardi looking towards Grimaldo. What a pass that is. What a first touch on top of it. Grimaldo loses it though. We still have the chance to bring it into Sterling as soon as possible to keep this attack going. Enis Bardi. Long shot. <laughs> Near post. Are you kidding me? No finesse shot. Just a shot smashed across the keeper. Oh my god. I love this kid. I absolutely love this kid. How can you not like him, man? How can you not? This is ridiculous. Look at this from this angle right here. Turn it around. Look at that. That, oh wow, that is just perfect, bro. That is, ah, uh, this is the beauty of career mode, man. Finding these players and making them so special. Let's go. Six goals for Enis Bardi so far this season. This man is on another level. Belotti, left foot, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He's going to take that shot. I was kind of hoping that there was someone else up top to get that deflection because obviously that wouldn't go in. Good clearance, or was it good? I don't know, actually. That is not that good. Please tell me he was offside. He wasn't offside? What? Hold on a second. I gotta see that again, because that definitely looked like offside to me. As the ball is played, it's this moment right here. He's offside! Ref! He is clearly offside! Are you kidding me? Look at this! Yo, yay! <laughs> oh my god, man. This... <laughs> no, no. He's clearly offside. Unbelievable. Gotta get this out of the defense here. Caldara over to the left. Great play to get out of it. Grimaldo. That was close. Wow, those passes are somehow going through. That's impressive. Enis Bardi lost it here. Belotti still on it. Belotti, let's try a long shot with him. Yes, we get it done. Somehow he puts it past defenders and into the bottom left corner. Boys, today is the day. Tickets to long shot city to everyone. Two of them, actually. You can actually go there and I'll give you the ticket to come back for free. The first one came in from Bardi and the second one right here from Belotti. I don't know how he shot through those three players. I really want to see this. How, how does he do that? That's a tough angle to score from. Wow, that is such a good strike, though. This guy is unbelievable. It's a cross. It's a good one. We do have someone taking care of it, though. Now, Enis Bardi into Belotti. Belotti. Oh, what a tackle and what a pass. I've never seen that. Where they are on the ground passing the ball. That's new. That is actually really new. Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good at all. It is 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> Dude, Bologna is really good, you know. Look at the passing play right here. That's unbelievable stuff. Donnarumma. I don't know. Could he have done better there? I, I'm not too sure. Six goals for Petania so far this season. We got to make these changes in the attack. We got to bring on Lopez. 
who's actually kind of tired, and Sancho as well. They're, they still have more stamina than the guys in the team already, and I really need a centre mid in January. I need someone else than Chalanoglu and Halilovic, because both of these guys are really small, and they lose the ball all the time. Um, but still, I'm going to sub on Chalanoglu this time. We're going to put Bardi into centre midfield. We need to score one more goal. Come on, then. Oh, no, 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 no. What kind of a pass is that? What is happening here? Whew, that was a tough one. We do run through though with Calabria and Pereira and Chalanolu now. Chalanolu pass it through into Jaden Sancho. Jaden Sancho is through. What? Ref! That's offside now. Come on, man. Nilo Pereira, Belotti, Belotti. What a ball that is. Is it again offside? Yes, it is offside. That's why I shot right there. Thankfully, it was offside, to be honest, because if it wasn't, I've just wasted a huge chance. But hold on, we still get another one here. Belotti into Sancho. Sancho, Belotti down the wings. Belotti has had enough of this stuff. He's gonna cut inside. He has the space. They're giving it to him. He hits the post and it does go in after hitting the other post as well. Yes, go on. Yes, boys. Belotti, number nine. The only true number nine in the Serie A at the moment. He is scoring all of them goals. And this is what you expect from a key player in your career mode. You want them to step up in the big moments. Jaden Sancho tried his chance, was offside twice. And Belotti was like, all right, I'm not giving it to anyone. I'm just gonna take the shot myself and it was a tough one to be honest because he hits the post and then I was like ah it's going out and then he hits it again but then it goes in so finally the woodwork is on our side that's mine isn't it yes it is Sancho Belotti Belotti turns Belotti looks for that run of Sancho can he find him there yes he can Sancho again that's another skill he gets past another one what is that? What kind of a shot is that, man? That would have maybe counted, you know? That was the goal. That was looking very nice. There we go. GG's. 3-2 in the end. Belotti is the man of the hour. And this is what you get if you play with the first team. World-class finishers in Belotti. And of course, Enis Bardi as well. Belotti now moving up to 19 goals. And we are not even in the January transfer window, so we are not even halfway through the season once again. Take a look at that shot. Oh, Danilo Pereira playing a big part in that one, but just about jumping over it. That's sick. Now, after this game, obviously, the big play is to play against Juventus. Now, that is going to be interesting. Roma have won again. They are just chasing us down at the moment. And if Juventus take away some points from us, it's going to be a tough one because, honestly... I did not expect Bologna to score two goals against us. If Bologna is capable of scoring two goals, Juventus, for sure, will be able to do the same. So we got to be very careful with our defense. Apparently, we are the best defense in the league, but I think we could easily lose it in just this episode. We have a risk of losing four players. Hold on. We got to take a look into that. Which four players are these? Musaccio, Chalanolu, Reina, and Halilovic. Those are actually quite some important players, so... We should be giving them some new contracts. I'm going to do that right now. Off screen. You don't have to see this. Oh, team of the year. Defenders shortlist. And I just saw in there Trent Alexander-Arnold. So he has joined Bayer Leverkusen. If that makes any sense, call me, please. Call me. That is ridiculous. He should not be playing for Leverkusen but hey we'll move on um we have Roma right oh Roma has won already they are putting on the pressure man what's going on with AS Roma who is scoring their goals I need to see who these players are that are taking Roma to the next level right now it is Mariano that is the man he is scoring the goals and Cengiz Zundar down the wings has seven goals that's impressive, you know. That is very, very impressive. A lot of people are scoring the goals for this team. But mainly, these two are tearing it up for that squad. And Gerson in five games has three goals and three assists. What the hell? That is inc that's insane. And now here is the biggest game of the season. In terms of the name, Juventus obviously is the biggest side that we can play against as an AC Milan squad. But in terms of rivalry, obviously Inter is the next one. And Inter is in the top four right now. I really want to see the starting lineup of Juventus 
and see if they're actually playing all those beasts that they have in their squad. Here is now Juventus' starting lineup. They are playing with Ronaldo. What a surprise. And Aguero is on the bench. Uh, Jimenez, Martinez, Aldevirold, Sandro. Very, very interesting starting lineup right there. That's interesting. Jimenez is a center back. He's playing right back. Okay, Ducore at CDM. Now, this is a game. Let's see what we can do against Dybala and Aguero uh, and Ronaldo in the attack. And then later on, Aguero will be subbed on to destroy us. So, we got to be very careful. If we are actually the best defense in the league, this is the game to show it. Okay, so they are playing Dybala up front and Ronaldo down the wings, which is good because we don't want them to be able to cross it onto Ronaldo's head. That is going to be deadly. Belotti asking for that run from Sterling. And that is an incredible pass from Belotti. At the far post, we do have Castilejo. But that's not going to be good enough. Raheem got past two. And is Yes! What a mistake! The Juventus player tries to get the ball off of um, Sterling. He just passes it straight into our captain. And that is when you need the captain to step up in big games like this. Enis Bardi is going to be there. You would think that it is uh, Belotti who turns out to be the poacher. But there, Ducure just passes the ball straight into Bardi. We get really lucky in that position. But I'll take it, obviously. Goalkeeper can't see the ball fast enough. It is 1-0 against Juve. Oh, I see the space. I see the space. Raheem, come on. Let's make it 2-0. Raheem. Oh no, man. He has to finish that. You gotta get it past the goalkeeper. I believe that is Lopez. That was a huge chance for our team there. And I feel like we wasted it big time. I see you, Belotti. Belotti! Oh no, that didn't go in. What? Dude, I was so sure that just went in. How close was that? That has to be incredibly close. Has to be. Yeah, it was. Wow. Cristiano now running down the wings. We get the ball off of him with Caldara. AC Milan's youngsters right here. Getting the ball off of, supposedly, the best players in the world. Oh, yes. The counter is on. I believe they're on pressure after possession loss. And that gives us a lot of space. As soon as we get the ball, we can just try and run through. And it's... Ah, oh, a second one. Would have been too nice. Hey, we got a free kick, boys. We got a free kick from, I believe, 35 yards out. But hey, we're going to try it. It is 33 yards, actually. And the goalkeeper is in a really good position. I don't like my chances, but I'm still going to try. And it's Bardi on the free kick. Dude, I'm telling you, give this man a chance. He's going to take it and he's going to get really close at least. That was such a good one. Ah, just a little less direction. And we could have put it in. Belotti feel like they're attacking on their own. But here goes Castilejo. It's going to be a tough one on his right foot, isn't it? It's a good cross. Belotti! Ref! That's handball. That's handball, man. That should have been a pen. But obviously, penalties on handballs and stuff are turned off in this game mode. Or in FIFA generally. Because it would just happen way too often. Now, I just realized we are also playing at home. So the fortress is on the line against Juve here. And the way we have been defending so far has been quite effective. And the attack build-up with these passes over to our wings has been incredible. Alexandro with a great tackle, though. Juve. Yes. Come on, then, Grimaldo. Passes it through. Bardi don't, doesn't have the pace to run in behind the defense. So he's going to wait outside. Belotti. Good stuff. Alexandro against Castilejo. Castilejo gets past people. And that is the first half being finished right here. AC Milan is the better team so far. But I kind of fear that one or two substitutions could make a huge difference from Juventus's bench. So we got to be careful. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. They only need one chance, man. They only need one. Near post. Donnarumma makes the first save of the game going into the 47th minute. Now, corner kicks against Ronaldo. It's going to be a different story here. Of course. Of course. Had to be a corner. Just had to be a corner. Toby Alderweireld puts it in. 1-1. Juve is back into the game. And Mkhitaryan is in there as well. Dude, this team is such a mix of players. It's ridiculous. But it's nice to see, to be honest, that Ducure has made it onto the starting lineup of Juventus. All right. Let's focus up. That is mine. Bardi. Pereira. He's asking for Belotti's run. Belotti's through. 1-on-1. 
penalty! Yes! This guy, man! <laughs> yes, boys! Every game, it's any Spardi, Belotti, any Spardi, Belotti, every time. The center attacking midfielder and our captain alongside with the most clinical finisher I've had so far on FIFA 19. That is a great shot past Lopez. I kind of do believe he could have done better because it wasn't really perfectly struck. But in the end, it does go past him. It is 2-1 and Juventus has to come at us once again and that will open up their defense a little bit. All right, 68th minute, boys. We're going to make some changes. Sterling has been invisible. We're going to take him off and bring on Jadon Sancho. Lopez also coming in down the right and uh, Hakan gets another chance to kind of prove himself. Bardi moves to center midfield. Now Ronaldo is down the left. Is he going to get that ball? Yes, he is. He plays it and he moves into the middle of the pitch if Ronaldo gets onto the end of one of these crosses we are in a really bad situation they're actually aiming for him bad pass again I am bottling everything right now Aguero has not been subbed in yet I believe so we don't have that danger yet but Dybala and Ronaldo are pushing forward big time and Juventus now with a big big period of holding on to the ball we haven't really touched it yet since like five in-game minutes here comes Dybala Ronaldo waiting in the middle. That's going to be a goal. That's going to be a goal, man. Juventus, 75th minute. They come back into the game with Mkhitaryan. That is a good finish. An amazing pass, to be honest with you. But um, I believe that is against the run of the game because we have been the better team, in my opinion. We can take a look into this goal once again. Dybala turns around, twists. I was only focusing on Ronaldo in that position, not seeing that the, uh, Mkhitaryan was making that run. And that's a great pass again. What a pass that is. No chance for the goalkeeper or the defender, in my opinion. Chalonolu now getting past one. Can he actually shoot as well from far out? Hey, that didn't look too bad. Now, hold on. Cristiano Ronaldo got subbed off. Did Aguero now join in as a left wing? Piazza joined in. Are you kidding me? Piazza. Aguero has not been brought on yet. Jaden Sancho now with the space. 83rd minute. Come on then, lads. He has the pace. I see you in the middle. I see you in the middle, Bardi. Come on. It is. It is, Bardi. Yes. Come on. El Capitan. It is 3-2 in the 85th minute. And of course... He has to step up once again. You can't give him that much space. The goalkeeper actually was really close to getting to it as well, I believe. But AC Milan at home, you got to defend until the last minute. Because if you give us chances like these, where my best shot taker is completely open outside the box, I'm going to take my chances and I'm going to score. Goalkeeper actually did really well, in my opinion. He was so close to getting to it. Eight goals for Enis Bardi this season, which is quite impressive. Enis, down to the left we go. We have Grimaldo and Sancho in support. Sancho now with too much space given to him. Jaden, Jaden, let's do the running man, shall we? That is two players getting fooled by one skill move. Jaden Sancho, he's on it, boys. Can he shoot here? Is that the running man? No, we had it done. We had the chance in the last minute of the game to get something special done. And he just put too much power on it. Come on then, ref. Blow the whistle right now. You gotta finish it. That is a good pass to Dybala, though. Can they get a goal in the last split second here of this match? No, they cannot. Caldara or Calabria, whoever that was, saves us. 3-2 win. Come on, AC Milan. What a game. An incredible, incredible game right here. I was very happy to see the performance of Enis Bardi, especially. I mean, you gotta give props where it's due. This man steps up every time we need him. Belotti again with a goal. What a game this was against Juventus. This is the type of game that I expect. They had more possession. They only had three shots. But dudes, with the sliders that I personally have right now, Three shots in is more than enough. You, they will score at least one out of those three shots. That is how it is with the sliders that we have set up. So for me, it always comes down to preventing them even getting onto the ball in the attack. And as soon as they get into like the penalty area, Donzo. It is only them against my goalkeeper at that point. AS Roma is not giving up, boys. They are one point behind us. It seems like it's going to be a two-horse race between us and them. Nocatelli now going up to an 82 rating, which is nice to see because our reserves team does need upgrades for sure. Um, 
Now, looking into the top scorers, I think Bardi is in there as well now. That is very nice to see. Belotti on 12 goals in 13 matches. What a finisher. What a guy. And then Enis Bardi on 8 goals in 11 matches. That is very impressive as well, man. That is so nice to see. But Mariano and Under are keeping Roma up there. They are doing a great job. Enis Bardi on 6 assists, number 1 in the league. Sterling on 5, which is nice to see as well because he doesn't score. It's nice to see him at least get assists at the moment. Belotti is on 4, which is impressive. The guy has 13, no, 12 goals and 4 assists in, what, 13 matches? That's very, very good. Now, boys, look at that. We are getting into the transfer window, and the next game that we play will be against AS Roma. Now, that is very, very exciting. And before we even get into that game, I'm going to stop it right here. I want you guys to tell me one thing, because if you go into our transfer budget right now, boys, we have around 2.6 million, and that is just not enough to be able to... To do anything really we can't really um, get any players into our team so we will have to sell players in terms of received offers i'm going to start allowing offers for every single player again and we're going to be completely open for this upcoming transfer window we're going to allow any of these offers to come in and we're going to let everyone know hey if you give us a good offer we might think about it and i want to know from you guys in the comments down below if we were to get offers for any of the players in our starting lineup, who would you be willing to see being sold? Let me know in the comments down below and what player would you also like to bring in? The transfer window has just opened up. We have had some great games in this episode, which were a lot of fun for me and very challenging as well at the same time. And finally, our first team could play their games. No more glitches, hopefully no more from this point on. Hopefully the first team will always be able to play whenever I want them to play. But let me know in the comments down below. Help me out, boys. Player of the episode. I just have to give it to Enis Bardi again. The guy is just too good. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Peace.